Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is day one of the Dynamic Billiard Dutch Open here at the Golden Tulip Jagershorst Hotel in Leende, the Netherlands. And we have had, as every time in the Euro Tour, the first day, we've had some round one action, or actually not. Um, we had three players that didn't show up in the field, so this is not so smart, I must say. They forfeited their matches and uh, had their opponents winning without having to fight for the victory. But, however, all the others showed up and I'm going to provide you with some interesting results here and some nice matches. Uh, we have Jimmy Vorung from the Netherlands. In his first round match he played with Oliver Scholnocki from Hungary. 9-3 was the final result in favor of Vorung, who we will see more of later on during this news clip. We had a thriller, a first round thriller between Alan Conway from Ireland and Mohammed Al Kashawi from Kuwait. And that match went hill hill with a better end for Conway, who had to face uh, Nick Vandenberg in the next round and then uh, Vandenberg made short work with him. Then we had Mateusz Szajo from Poland. He played with favored Nick Malay from Greece. And uh, as we can see, uh, Shazua was up. He was uh, leading 8-7 and Malay had the break shot, but then he missed this two ball there, as we can see. And uh, this looks kind of negligent to me. However, Shazua uh, pockets the two over one rail and uh, he's a little bit lucky here. If we see the replay, it was a double contact. The cue ball double contacted the two ball. That's why it went down in the pocket. And uh, from then on, uh, Shajo runs the rack and, aus and uh, wins over Nick Malai, proceeds to winners round one, sends Malai to the loser side. Stefan Cohen, the grandmaster from France, he defeated Gabriel Ciprian from Romania, clearly with 9-6 in his first round appearance. Another first round match we had between Marco Vogel from Germany and the younger brother of Matteo Shajo, which is Kamil Shajo. And uh, that match went 9-4 in favor of Vogel. Ralf Eckert, another grandmaster from Germany. He had a hill-hill match with Pavel Misiak from Poland. 9-8 was the final result in favor of Eckert. We are still in round number one, I would like to remind you. And we had a former U junior world champion from 1997. He won the junior world championships in Nainburg, Christian Goethemann. That's... as. Uh, a long time ago, I would say. Uh, he played with Joao Grillo from Portugal and the final result was 9-3 in favor of Grillo. And then we had kind of a strange thing happening on uh, table one. Uh, we had the match between Ivo Arts from the Netherlands and Andy Worthington from Great Britain. And uh, on paper, of course, I would say Ivo Arts uh, was the favorite player. and. Uh, Arts was down 7-8 and uh, he had his break shot then, but he had a bad position on the three. He played a safe, a decent safe, I would say, if uh, you see this. And uh, uh, Worthington played a resave. And then Evo Arts went for the jump shot and see what he's doing there. He almost pockets the three ball in the side pocket, but the cue ball scratches. And look now, uh, if you see this, now the players are unscrewing the cue sticks and uh, obviously Arts gave away the match with six balls on the table for Worthington. My opinion is this is very unsportsmanlike and this is also not correct and I'm quite sure that the tournament director, Waldemar Debski, will have a word with Evo Arts because, uh, I mean, there's no problem in giving away a nine ball, a clear nine ball or something, but six balls on the table, something that maybe is a little bit too much. Coming to winner's round number one matches, and here we had Manuel Gama from Portugal. He just played the Seniors European Championships, quite successful, playing with Maxim Dudanets from Russia. And Dudanets, uh, he played the Juniors European Championships, and guess what? 9-3 was the final result in favor of Gama. Usually these young guns, they um, win those... Uh, generation clashes, I would say, in the recent times, at least, most of them. But this time, Gama was the better player. 9-3 was the final result in favor of the Portuguese. 
And uh, then we had, as I mentioned earlier, in winner's round one, we had Alan Conway. He was facing Nick Vandenberg, but Vandenberg, my short word of him, 9-5, was the final result in favor of Vandenberg, the El Nino from the Netherlands. And we had the match between Jimmy Worung from the Netherlands and Mateusz Nigotski from Poland. And that match went all leveled until 3-3. Three, three. And then Snegotsky ran three racks to make it... Uh, to make the score 6-3. And uh, then at 6-3, as we can see here, Vorong gets no position on the four ball, and uh, here he um, commits a foul after that and uh, allows Snegotsky to run out to get to 7-3. And uh, at 7-3, they had a safety battle. Snegotsky um, found himself having to play a jump shot, and he plays the jump shot. He hits the correct ball, but see that. He... Ha he leaves a lucky safety for Wurung, who again commits a foul and allows Snegotsky to run out to 8-3 being on the hill. And uh, at 8-3, Snegotsky misses a one ball, a tough one ball, I must say, after break Wurung, nothing was down. But then Wurung himself, he misses the two ball. Um, Snegotsky gets back to the table, makes the two, plays safety on the three, and uh, Wurung tries to play a resave, leaves a a difficult combination shot for Snegotsky, who makes it the three on the six, and from then Snegotsky plays some tough shots to win the match with 9 3 over Jimmy Vorong. So these were winners round one results, and uh, tonight we will have more winners round one matches coming up. We will have uh, players from Great Britain like Daryl Peach, we will have Mark Gray, Richard Jones, we will have Joshua Filler, we will have Ralf Suke in the tournament. So there's loads of more action tonight here in Linde, and uh, I will be back with more news for you later on. If you want to follow the action live, guess what? You can do so on kazoom.com. Uh, get a premium membership there and uh, you will be able to follow all 11 tables in high res live throughout the tournament. If you uh, would like to check schedules or um, results, players' profiles, you can do so on eurotouronline.com. That's it from me for the moment. I will see you later. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>